All right, guys, we are live. Welcome, everyone. So, all right, we are here. We are ready to go. Um, this is basically just going to be a little Q&A session, and we're going to have a quick talk about what I'm vaping on tonight. The kind of a warm up also for vape stew. For those of you that don't know, vape stew is uh, myself, tenacious, uh, Stan, tenacious TX vapes, and Demo vapes, as well as Mr. Just Right One, aka Joel. We all get together on Stan's channel and we hang out and have a good time and just talk vape stuff. So uh, this is kind of like the warm up to that. I didn't put out a video today, so figured give you guys some content and uh, you know touch base with you as well. So welcome everyone. Um, I do realize that there's another stream going on right now with Jay Hayes, Grim, and Bogan. So kind of a bummer. I like did not know that that was going to happen tonight. So oh well. But for those of you that are here, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. So the first setup I've got <clears throat> is this one right here. Uh, this is the black Cerakoted Dreamer mech with the Recoil Rebel on top. And oh my god, how sexy is this setup? This is a gorgeous little setup here. I'm rocking a 2700 battery in it right now, and it is hitting pretty good. Uh, I do have to change batteries pretty quick, though, so uh, whatever. It's a mech mod. You know the deal. You know, when you rock a 0.1 ohm build or 0.1 or whatever it's uh it's a battery drainer um nate if you're experiencing video problems if you can hear my voice and there's no video try refreshing the page usually it's it always happens someone always has that sort of weird glitchy error thanks youtube um but yeah um if, uh, can you all hear me all right? Is that is that a thing that's going on? Is everyone... Uh, can, can you hear me now? Um, next setup I've got is the new Twisted Messes TM24 Pro that I picked up at ECC. I also picked up the Dreamer at ECC. Stan brought me one. TM24 Pro with a double helix design, color-changing drip tip. Oh, awesome. Thanks, Jess, for that. Uh, on the Hexome V3. And... Uh, this one, is it on? I don't think it's even on yet. There we go. Oh, yes. Oh, I forgot to mention the juice I was vaping on on the, uh, on the Dreamer. I've got this Mystery Pop. This is by the makers of Hulk Tears. Mm, oh, man, I'm going to forget. The Ovo, Ovo Labs. Uh, what's it called? Mm, can't even read it. It's too small. Mighty Vapors. Wow. Jesus, my eyes are going bad. Worse than they already are. On the uh, TM24, I've got this Mamasan Guava Pop. Uh, if you, any of you watched my ECC video... You noticed that this was my favorite out of their lineup. So, yeah, they gave me a bottle of that. Thank you very much, Mama-san. E-Liquid. And finally, oh, it's on the charger right now. So can't really do much with it right now because, as you guys know, if you watched the Diamond review, this thing doesn't charge or doesn't have pass-through. So I can't just vape it right now while it's charging. But whatever. That'll be ready to go for vape stew, and we'll have a vape on that. Um, and the... Ijoy Diamond slash Inakin, uh, God, there's so many names. Inakin, Scion, Two Tank. I've got the, some Rounds Blue Mango, and that is absolutely delicious stuff as well. I've also got my typical pod systems. I've got a whole bunch right now. Uh, let's see. I've got the Sol, uh, another one from Ovo Distro and Mighty Vapors. I've got the Miley right there. And I've got a jewel, of course. I'm just always rocking a jewel. And I've got a new one called the Zur. The Zur is interesting. Uh, they've got some really cool flavors for their pods, but we'll probably end up talking about that a little bit more on Vape Stew once again. So, yeah, happy Friday, everybody. What's up, uh, Josh Nandez? Jen, what's up, Jen? Tim G, Nate Wilson, uh, Lady Lotus, William Holder. 
JTH reviews, ashtrays remembered. What's up? What is up? How's everyone doing tonight? What's everyone vaping on? And uh, yeah. Oh, whoa. We got live vape and chill in the room right now, all the way from the UK. It is late over there, uh, midnight. So thanks for joining us, Jay. Um, hello, baby, he says. Um, yeah, I actually am kind of in the middle of making my little list here. So, uh, but -a -bum -bum. just make a new note. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Got it. Got it. Got it. Um, so yeah, as most of you, I feel like most of you know how I go about doing my giveaways where I just have the list of names and I throw it in a randomizer. You'll see that later. Don't worry about it. So let's just do this. Boop -a doop doop do. And I'm going to try not to give away anyone's personal information. Yeah, that would be a good thing. So I'm just going to waffle for a minute here and just kind of go with the flow. And I'm, I'm not looking at chat currently, so hold any questions momentarily. We will get to that in just a second here. I just got to do this real quick for you guys because I just got home from work not too long ago, and I have had zero time to prepare. That's what happens when you work 50 hours a week at a vape shop and then have to come home and stream. Um, but yeah, this shouldn't take long. Don't worry about it. I'll, I'll pop into chat in a few minutes here. But yeah, um, let's talk about ECC for a little bit, I guess. ECC was fun. Uh, it was in Ontario, California, uh, which is like an hour east of LA, basically. And... Uh, I just wanted to get out of town for a little while because, as most of you know, I live in New England and it's cold here. And literally a day before I left, it was like freezing rain and ice and just, ugh, it was such crappy weather. I wasn't having any part of that anymore. So I was really uh, just looking forward to getting out of, out of, you know, out of town for a little while, meeting up with my friends. Um, three quarters of the Vape Stew crew were... Uh, at ECC, so that was a good time. Obviously, I mean, you get us all together in one room. It's bad enough when we're on uh, a hangout call or something, but yeah, get us all together in one room, and we are just trouble. <laughs> um, and it's fun, like watching those guys grow as like YouTubers, because like Stan, Stan just got a whole new camera set up. He basically kind of got a mirror image of what I've got, which is awesome. Uh, but seeing seeing those guys grow as YouTubers and content creators and just kind of, um, you know, uh, mature, if that makes any sense. I don't know. <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about though. Um, but yeah, it's really cool to, to get to hang with those guys. I, I feel like just once a week is not nearly enough time to really just get to know everyone and, you know, chat with those guys. I mean, we do the after shows sometimes and that kind of thing. But I still think that's not enough time. Like just having that little couple days kind of away from everything and just being able to talk shop and get down to business was, was good for us in the show and everything. Um, but yeah, I'd love to hear what you guys are vaping on. I'm going to just pop in chat real quick just to see what you guys are up to. Um, like your kids watching them grow up. Yeah, exactly. Like your kids watching them grow up and see them bloom. Exactly, because these guys, like, they haven't been to a ton of shows. And I've been to a million shows by now. And it's like, I know the ropes. You know, I know what to do. I know what I want to do. I know what I don't want to do. Nine times out of ten, I don't want to, you know, try new juices or anything, even though, you know, most people that go to a convention, that's exactly what they want to do. But having a lot of, uh, a lot of people... And oh shit, I totally forgot to mention. Uh, I do have the Grim Green Me Pod. Thank you for reminding me, uh, Jay, aka Clown, Clown Vapes. Uh, I do have the Grim Green Edition Me Pod, and I've got some smoothie liquid banana strawberry smoothie, strawberry banana smoothie. Oh, this stuff is so good. The flavor is really good on the Me Pod. What's up, Alo254? She says, Slow day at. Slow day at work and got this notification. Thanks for being here. So, yeah. Um, another thing that was really awesome, I mean, getting to see, you know, the, the vape fam, the people that you only get to see at conventions or only get to, like, hang out with at shows and stuff like that, that is really important to me, too, because, 
you make these friends all across the country and it's cool because you know if you're ever in their town they'll you know have a couch for you to sleep on or whatever but um the kind of uh bummer thing is you have to travel thousands of miles half the time to get to hang out with them and uh we got to see uh nick and angela garrity which uh those are two amazing people right there like hardcore supporters of not only the industry but also the uh the content creators the people on youtube uh, i know they're patrons to multiple different reviewers including my own patreon so i did want to give them a very special shout out as well as um james franklin we met up with james franklin there uh he hung out with us for quite some time pretty much all day really and then throughout the night that was cool we got to go to dinner with him we got to just uh shoot the shit and hang out which was awesome you know I, I hardly ever get to do that most of the time it's just a quick little handshake and hey thanks for the videos and you know that kind of thing which is which is much appreciated i would love to meet every single one of you guys watching right now if i haven't already uh but yeah james franklin was like there by himself like he didn't have his friends with him or anything like that so he was just like i need something to do i don't want to go home and we're just like Come with come come to dinner with us. He got to go to uh, dinner with uh, me, the Garrities, uh, Demo, Stan, uh, the guys from uh, Hometown Hero, uh, Sherlock Holmes, and uh, Daniel DJ LSB Vapes. So we all kind of like had this like motley crew going on, <laughs> but it was fun. We had a lot of fun. We went out to dinner and you know, had a few drinks and stuff, went back to the room and chilled for a while. We had a little balcony at, at our hotel, which was clutch. Let me tell you for the, the paranoid me, you know, I hate uh, vaping in my hotel rooms. I'll stealth like a, a little pod system or something. So we kind of had the ground rule of no direct to lung vapes in the room. If you want a direct to lung vape, you got to go out on the, the balcony but uh, you could do mouth to lungs in the room. So, <laughs> and it wasn't my room. It was actually uh, Brett from the cloudy vapor.com. So I did not want to get him in trouble whatsoever. All right. I'm almost done with this here. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Um, we do have a few questions and stuff going on. Um, let's see. Uh, Jay's on the Aspire Breeze AIO with 20 milligram elements, Nick Salts. Yes, that's because you're in the UK and not in the US. So over here we have 25, 45, 50, all those good strong throat hit Nick Salts. Although I will say the strongest Nick Salts I can really do in a, a open pod system sort of thing is around the 25 mark. Um, good regulated squonk mod. Wait, wait. Uh, the... Pulse 80 is coming very soon. Uh, wait for that. It's going to be out probably about a month or so because Chinese New Year is going on right now. So I would wait for that. Otherwise, you really don't have a lot. Either that one or the Grim, uh, the, not Grim Green, <laughs> the Homeboy OC uh, Dual 18650 Squonker that's coming out. That looks pretty sweet as well. Got me the Fuchai original Kylan for work as it's lighter. No, not so heavy as the steampunk, says Ian. Uh, which, what's up? Just got in. Wish I made it earlier. Yeah, you didn't miss anything so far, man. Don't worry about it. Uh, anyone had problems with the Redemption RDA top cap? Redemption RDA. What do you mean? What, what's the issue? I would like to know because I do have one of those. Or Yeah, I have the Redemption. Jesus. <laughs> Yo, says taking a voop Smith. Nice. I love that username, by the way. Watching from Oklahoma, says Justin Roper. I'm on the Vupu Resin 157 Gene Chip, Goon 1.5. That's a good quality setup right there. That's a good, hard-hitting, standard setup. Ashtray's Remembered says, shower cap on the smoke alarm. I still get sketched out by that. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I've tested my luck before, and it's failed. So, mm. <laughs> And I got yelled at. Hexome drop, 6 milligram menthol grape. Well, there you go. That's a good way to get over a cold there, Dan Waterman. Uh, old school setup for me tonight, Copper JD Tech Stingray. Wow, that is an old school setup. But, you know, shout out to you. You know, I love that, like, vintage vaping sort of thing. Sometimes I'll just set up a random old mod just for shits and giggles. Smoat coming with a reg squonker as well, 100 watt. Mm, is it a single or dual battery? That's what I'm curious about. If it's a single battery, then it's useless to me. Um, unless it's a 2700, I suppose. But even then, eh. 
Um, I'm still on the fence. Oh boy. OC mod. Eh, just wait till you see it and or hold it in your hand. You probably end up changing your mind. It has a really like good feeling. It feels like the Minikin two. Yeah. feels kind of like the Minikin two, but with a squonk bottle in front, which is pretty neat. Single 2700. Um, yeah, 100 watts is is kind of uh, bullshit for a single 2700. It, they can really only go up to about 80 watts. Like 100's pushing it a little bit too far, in my humble opinion. Um, but then again, you know, that's just a single. It's still going to have this the single battery problems that you're used to. I hate this, uh, those single battery things, man. I don't know. I, I couldn't get used to... Uh, I had a theory on for a little while that my friend let me borrow, and uh, I just didn't really like it. I'll be honest with you. It was a single 18650, though, so it wasn't a 2700. Um, but yeah, so these squonks, man. There's a lot of squonks coming out this year. I totally called it. Uh, FYI, if you will go back and watch my, uh, I forget what, what videos. I think I did a, yeah, I did a vlog where I did a prediction sort of segment. And I said there's going to be a lot more dual 18650, triple 18650 squonks, as well as uh, 2700. A lot more dual and triple 2700 mods coming out as well this year. Um, but yeah, the uh, the other thing about uh, ECC was it's currently Chinese New Year. So they're not really producing anything new. There's really not going to be anything new until at least the end of this month until un unless uh they, they might announce stuff like right when they get back to work so who knows but yeah when you're gonna see a flood the floodgates will open once again after chinese new year is over but until then it's gonna be the same old stuff that you're used to which um nothing's really you know blown me away lately i guess i don't know um i've got a few cool little new toys like the what is it? Inakin <sighs> something box. Pocket box. That's it. The Inakin pocket box is real nice. It's um, just a nice little stealthy device. Kind of like the um, Me Pod. God, I can't remember these names today. I didn't take my brain medication. <sighs> oh, well. <laughs> but yeah, it's kind of like the Me Pod, but a little bit beefier if that makes any sense it's kind of like more like the me one i suppose or the, or the priv one by smoke um but yeah that thing's pretty neat a lot of a lot of little mods coming out not a lot of big stuff which is kind of interesting but uh speaking of big stuff i got in a lot of the uh Sigeli mods their new mods um overall so far not super impressed i'll be perfectly honest with you guys not very impressed with them. The, uh, what is it? Snow Wolf. V Fang. V Fang, like, dual squonker thing. It's an interesting concept, but it's just way too big and bulky and ugly, in my opinion. All right. Finishing up this little list here, guys. So I'm almost done. Bear with me momentarily. Uh, we will be... Right back with you guys answering your questions. Yeah, this is uh, this is why you come prepared to your live stream, Nick. Come on. Seriously, almost done. Um, but yeah, the V Fang has like two different bottles in it, so you can put two different flavors in it if you want, or like, you know, if you wanted to do like one bottle has nicotine liquid and the other has CBD, you could do that. I guess. I mean, there's a million things you could do. I think it's an interesting, like, you know, interesting idea, but I want to see someone else do it. I'm sorry, Sigeli slash Snow Wolf, but I don't know. I just don't think it's it's going to take off for them. But especially since the bottles are only five mil bottles. I go through five mils in about 10, 15 minutes, maybe. <laughs> I mean, if I'm real heavy squonking, yeah, I can go through five mils real quick. So not sure how I feel about that, but it's still early days of testing. I haven't really like gone in too much detail with it. Um, but their atomizers, ugh, Sigeli's atomizers are not not the greatest. Like, don't trust a, a mod maker to come up with an RDA. Um, I can't really think of any 
specific time or like specific device that like was a mod maker first that came out with an RDA. I don't know. What do you guys think? Uh, drop it in chat and I'll take a look. And as soon as I'm, I'm done with this list here, like seriously, I got like maybe five more names left. All right. Doop, doop, doop. All right. Getting right towards the beginning now. But I really can't think of any like mod maker that came out with a, a you know an RDA that just blows away the competition. Like, I can't really think of any off the top of my head. Can't wait to see what you guys have to say here. All right, the list is complete. We are done. Uh, doop, 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 doop. Do that. Go over here. Go back to chat. All right. I'm sorry about that, guys. So let's see. Aloha from Hawaii. Oh, we got a couple. Oh, it's uh, Dark Storms. Uh, Dark Storms says aloha from Hawaii. Well, aloha to you. Um, what time is it over there? It's got to be pretty early. Uh, see ya, Jay, if you're still in the room. See ya, man. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, but we'll see you on Sunday for Super Awesome Vape Show. Um, let's see. I'm sorry. I have to go back here. Single 27 on a drag with a 454. Yeah, Eric, I saw that coil, man. Uh, good looking coils in that thing. Eric is a member of the Daily Vape TV Cloud crew. If you guys feel like joining, the link is right down there in the description. It is a private group, so you're going to have to request and I will have to approve. However, I reprove everyone that doesn't have a completely fake bogus profile. Uh, but yeah, we're almost up to 500 members on the cloud crew, which means we're about to start doing some exclusive giveaways in that group. So uh, make sure you get in on that. We'll be doing a big coil giveaway, and, and I had something. Oh, um, I don't know. I have a whole box full of stuff that I have to give away. So um, we're going to be doing some exclusive Facebook giveaways. We're going to be doing some exclusive Instagram giveaways, and then we'll be doing some uh, probably a big, big -er one, big ish one for 25,000 subscribers. So make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. Uh, James Robert said he just got the dreamer loving this thing. Hell yeah, dude, this thing is awesome. I do have to change my battery out pretty soon, but hits like a freaking truck. This thing hits hard. Um, it's got like that direct contact pin. It's got a self adjusting, uh, for battery rattle. There's absolutely no, no battery rattle in this thing whatsoever, which is great. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's a really good Chinese made mech. I will say that, uh, can anyone recommend size for the troll RTA that will fit comfortably without hitting the chimney cap size for the troll RTA? What do you mean? Size for the RTA? Hmm. Oh, 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 uh, style of coil and coil wire, please. Oh, okay. I got it. I mean, you can do my, my standard seven wrap, uh, 26, 36, three millimeter fuse Clapton. That is always my go-to build. I don't know if anyone else has a suggestion for Mr. Nate Wilson. Um, do, 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 do. Uh, yep. <laughs> three millimeter fuse Clapton's it. Uh, Ryan's got the right idea there. Uh, do, why is everything blue? Because I have lights behind me that I can change the color of, and I like blue. I mean, blue is not even my favorite color, but blue is a color of blaz, and uh, you know, I gotta represent. Plus, it's matching with my hat and everything. You gotta go matchy matchy sometimes. Uh, let's see. Yeah, the new Sigeli mods look pretty weird. Yeah, but I mean, they're they're all right. They're not terrible, but you know, it is what it is. Um. Richard Coyne says, yo, bro, what's up? So, dude, wow, uh, just, I take that back. <laughs> I didn't just do that. Uh, let's see. Uh, Annie Ax Axelson says she's new to vaping. There's a crap ton to learn. Yes, there is, but that's why I'm here. You know, ask away, ask me as many questions as you'd like. That's why I'm here for the next hour and a half. Um, <clears throat> It's 2.26 p.m., and you're vaping on a Smoke X-Priv. The X-Priv does look 
kind of neat. It's kind of a ripoff of the Revenger X, but we'll talk about that some other time. <laughs> Conway Valley Vapors is here. Big shout out to you. Um, all the way from the UK, I believe Wales. Uh, let's see. In my opinion, what's the best 24 or 25 millimeter RDA? That's a tough call. I could have picked between my favorite, which is the Kennedy. I love the Kennedy 24s and 25s. Probably the 25 for the Kennedy because you get that little bit extra room inside the deck. However, the Recoil Rebel I did pick as my best RDA of 2017, and I do stick behind that because I love the look of this thing. It's an absolutely stunning, gorgeous RDA. The airflow options are nearly unlimited with two different caps to choose from. Building options are nearly unlimited with a lot of room in that deck. Uh, it is it is squonkable if you buy the squonk pin for it, especially with this dock tip. I love this dock tip. It's just the right height, just the right width. It's very comfortable. It's not spiky and plasticky, cheap feeling at all. And uh, yeah, it's just a great great, great RDA. Um, the drop is also a very good choice. I would highly say consider that one as well. Um, it is a bit different and it's a bit kind of weird, I guess, for a, a newbie builder, newbie vapor sort of thing. Uh, but there, if you're an experienced coil builder, then I going to say there's a lot of different coiling options. You could do stacked coils, you could do vertical coils, single coil right across the middle, single a vertical coil. There's just so much you can do with that. Uh, it is unreal. Um, Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Yes, Sunday is the Super Awesome Vape Show. We will have a special guest on, which I'll probably end up announcing tomorrow, maybe. Um, hopefully. Uh, keen to get the Recoil Rebel? Do it. Uh, greetings from Germany, says Mar. Uh, hello. Uh, I'm not even going to try to speak German. Not going to do it. Nope, I almost did. Not going to because I'm, I'm terrible at any other language besides English, and sometimes I'm terrible at English as well. Um, let's see. Pyro is one of the best RDTAs. It's okay. It's It does the trick. Um, there are better. <laughs> let's just put it that way. I don't know. RDTAs are all kind of finicky. Uh, let's see. Wow, I'm so far behind in chat. Demo Vapes is in here. What is up, Demo? And we got Mr. Just Right One. Uh, Jesus. Uh, let's see. Apparently Joel just, uh, did a three hour live stream earlier. Holy crap, dude. I mean, I thought two hours was bad and I'm not even drinking right now. So I will be on the on vape stew though. <laughs> oh man. All right. Let's see. Boy. Yes, dude. That is like become your trademark. That is amazing. That and demo vapes. Everyone say hi to demo vapes. Oh my God. Everyone's saying it in chat already. I haven't even made it to the bottom. <laughs> I haven't caught up yet. I have yet to squonk. Is the juice really worth the squeeze? But um, it's good. I love the single battery squonk mod, like single mechanical battery squonk mods with a single coil. That is like my dream right there. Uh, the Jabo uh, Wismac. Luxotic is a very good option as long as you don't mind snipping off that uh, that stem and shoving a silicone bottle in there because I personally can't stand that hard plastic bottle. But hey, what are you going to do? Um, I spoke with him about that and he said that was their decision, not his. Eh, there's only so much creative control they give you, but there you go. Um, purchased my first mod on January 2nd. Quit smoking one week later after 34 years of smoking. Wow, Robert uh, Shorkey, congratulations. That's amazing. Everyone say congrats to Robert in chat right now because that is amazing. Um, wow, 34 years of smoking and you quit in a week. That's that's really impressive. That's really impressive. Uh, let's see. Oh, our DTA. My bad, Demo. Oh, crap. Our DTAs? I don't know. I don't like any RDTAs. Personally, I don't think there are, there's really not any good ones out there. Uh, I know I'm going to get crap for that, but hey, RDTAs are just too finicky for me. You have to kind of tilt them to get them to wick right, and eh, they, they run out of juice really quick. I mean, I've, I've, I haven't really seen too many good ones at all. Um, maybe the Pyro, maybe the uh, Pro, what is it, V-God Trick Tank Pro? That one wasn't too bad. 
Um, I, you sold me my first mod and juice. Haven't smoked in years. Uh, you're, I guess I don't want, I hate saying this. You're welcome, Katie. I'm glad you, you were able to quit. I'm glad I got you to quit. And, you know, it feels good when people say that, you know, I feel, it feels really good when people come up to you and you're like, they're like, uh, you're the reason I quit, you know, but, uh, yeah. You're welcome, Katie. <laughs> Anytime. I also you you also won something from me one time too. Um, you won a I think the was it the Kennedy? I think you won the Kennedy. I can't remember. Um, got a pulse kit G box with dead rabbit and drip drip tech. There you go. All right, let's see. I tried making a couple of parallel coils for shits and giggles. The parallels got way hotter than the staple or Clapton. Should I be trying to make both main and parallel match in resistance? Um, no. Usually what I'll do is a staged heating coil. I have a higher resistance fancy exotic wire, and then I have a lower resistance round wire to stage it with. And the, the staged wire, the bigger, thicker... Um, paralleled wire is a lot hotter so that heats up the other wire uh it gives me the ramp up that i'm looking for i normally only do that on like mechanical devices but uh it's it's an interesting vape it gets it going a lot quicker gets it heated up like a lot quicker but it does tend to hold a little bit more heat getting the drop by monday let's see wow okay do 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 wow i missed a lot of chat holy crap um <laughs> apparently jay doesn't know who the the uh guest is oh it's hello in german i damn it <laughs> i'm not even gonna try hi yvonne how's it going uh what's up mario let's see oh there we go i, I found my place here in chat um may want to check out the dead rabbit the space makes it easy to build on especially if you're getting into builds or vaping yeah i i put the the dead rabbit and the drop almost on the same plane i think the drop has a little bit better like build quality all around like i like the posts on it a little bit better but there you go um rui says hello from portugal hello um uh, dead rabbit definitely good flavor rda yes uh, Yvonne's wearing her Blaz hoodie. Oh, it's warm and cozy. I love this thing. Birthday, uh, Dark Storm's birthday is on the 22nd. Well, happy birthday. Um, yeah. Uh, how old are you, if you care to tell? <laughs> Not too much, uh, says Demo. Just waiting for vapes to. Yeah, that's, that's just kind of what I'm doing. I'm just warming up here. How can you get a Blaz hoodie? Ooh, I'm, I'm thinking about putting them up on the website. If that's a good idea, then let me know. Um, thinking about putting them up, up on our website, blazliquids.com, so just anyone can buy one, as well as the snap snapbacks and regular T-shirts. Um, it's almost time we do another run of hoodies and stuff because we have kind of limited uh, colors, styles, all that stuff. So I don't know. If it's a good idea, just, you know, X1 down there in the comments and chat. Um, squonking is good, but I find the flavor isn't the same as a dripper. Well, I mean, it, I guess it all depends on your setup. Really. You really got to, uh, uh, you, you gotta, you know, have the right kind of setup for your style. <clears throat> Where do you get a fresh hat? Also? Yeah. Um, working on it guys, working on it. Um, we might have to do another run of snapbacks before Foxwoods, Foxwoods, uh, national vape expo is coming up and, uh, let's see. Jthu262 says, his question got ignored. Um, I, I do apologize. Uh, there's a lot of questions coming through, so if you feel free to ask again, I could possibly answer it. I'm scrolling up in chat right now, and I do not see anything from you for the past, like, 10 minutes. So do apologize, but, you know, there's a lot of questions coming through. Uh, let's see. Everyone, oh man, I'm still behind here. Uh, everyone's saying congratulations to Robert. There you go. Okay, so apparently it's a good idea. I get it. <laughs> Dead Rabbit does not like those staple fuse. I got too tight between the posts. Ooh, that sucks. Works great in the drop. Okay, I guess that's good. Kind of a eh, win loss sort of situation going on there. Uh, see you. In a bit, Mr. Joel, we'll see you soon on Vape Stew. 
Uh, Proud Vape still will be 53. Hey, there we go. Well, happy birthday, Dark Storms. Um, hope you have a good one. Um, let's see here. Uh, do, do, do. Swag and merch is always a good idea. Yeah, I know. But I just don't feel like anyone would, would want to buy it, you know? Like, I feel like swag and stuff is good for, like, when you're out at vape conventions and stuff. But I know a lot of people from all over the place, especially getting out to you guys out here. I mean, you, you guys are from all over the world, um, are looking for something like that. You know, if you, you want to grab yourself a bottle and maybe represent for the brand as well. I know a couple of you guys that absolutely would. Um, but yeah, let's see. Uh, Jay Thu says, I got a question. When I put big complex coils in my RDAs, it's either too hot or if I turn it down, it pops and spits. Any advice for big fuse claptons, et cetera? Wicking is absolutely essential when you have big, beefy, hot builds like that. You need to do, I, in my personal opinion, you need to do really tight cotton. It's got to be so tight that it feels like it's going to move that coil. Uh, then what you do is just kind of, once it's fully tight, you just move it back ever so slightly. And then that kind of like widens it up a little bit. <clears throat> It kind of makes it both ends a little bit poofier. Um, and then what you do is you kind of rake your cotton on either side. You just rake it with your tweezers, thin it out, thin out the tails a little bit, but it also drags fibers from one side of the coil to the other side of the coil and just kind of evens everything out inside the coil itself. So wicking is absolutely essential when it comes to those hot builds. It should reduce the popping because what, what, what popping actually is is juice caught in some sort of little little nook or cranny there and it's expanding like popcorn and once it gets up to a you know it gets up to a certain temperature it actually physically pops like popcorn and uh it that can shoot juice into your mouth which is not very comfortable um nightbots at it again yeah be careful nightbots out here gonna he's gonna get you um, suggestion for new RTA for flavor. Honestly, I really like the Kensai for flavor. Like I know I kind of bashed it a little bit because mine was kind of iffy. I think mine's defective, but as far as flavor, it is really top notch. It's better than the, um, Kylan. Uh, I haven't tried too many RTAs recently. It's one of the better ones for sure. Uh, the Bravo is pretty good as well, but I think the, Kensai has a slightly better build quality and overall just kind of quality. Um, but those two are pretty darn close, I would say. Uh, as, or the, what is it, Kylan Mini that they just came out with? I've heard that one's really good. I haven't got one myself. Uh, uh, Vandy Vape got a new merchandising manager or whatever, and they screwed up. They I, I must be bumped off their list or something, so I'm going to try to contact them and get caught up with their reviews. Either that or they're mad that I'm dragging my feet on a lot of reviews for them, but it is what it is. Uh, let's see. How can I get good ramp up in my RDAs? I'm guessing the less wire. Oh, crap. I just jumped down in chat. Um, the less wire, the faster it ramps up, like more strands in a coil, the slower it ramps. Or more stains that that's doesn't make any sense to me nate wilson um <clears throat> faster ramp up time well uh depends on your if you're using a regulated mod or a uh, mechanical mod if you're using a regulated mod then you can always turn up the power uh and if it's still slow then you have a lot of thicker wire in there i usually use thinner more delicate wire on regulated devices and thicker chunkier wire like you know 20 gauge nichrome or something on mechanical devices because it puts less stress on the batteries if you're using 20 gauge on a regulated mod it's almost pointless it's like why bother uh for that i would recommend doing like you know, a fuse clapton or something with two small core wires that heat up quickly. They don't have a lot of mass and they give you really good flavor. Whereas on the mechanical devices, you want more power to your coils quicker and therefore you need um, thicker gauge wire and lower resistance wire like uh, nichrome or stainless steel. Um, let's see, we have Jthu and who else? And J... R O B 80 J Rob 80. They're both in Ohio. You guys should meet up, man, <laughs> dude. That's weird. 
Um, <laughs> tried the same setup, uh, just change the squonk pin, but I find that the higher notes for fruit flavors get muted. Um, fruit flavors. I vape almost exclusively fruit flavors. I find that my build, the 2636, three millimeters, seven wrap, comes out to a 0.2 on the money every single time if you use all nichrome. And um, I would definitely say that's a really good flavor build. It depends on a lot, though. You know, your coil positioning has to be spot on. Your coil, uh, you know, it's got to be heating up evenly and everything. As far as the high notes and flavor, though, the smaller and more delicate the outer wire wrap, the better those fruit flavors are. Um, I don't know. If Demo, I would love to hear Demo's opinion on that. Maybe we'll, we will mention that in uh, on Vape Stew, or he can chime in on chat here. <clears throat> I do apologize if if uh, <laughs> if Nightbot's getting you guys to. He, he looks out for caps. If you do more than 15 caps in a row, uh, they're going to get you. <laughs> uh, let's see. That bot, yeah, the bot is crazy. I'm sorry. I actually increased it from 10 caps to 15 caps and like five emojis to 10 emojis or something like that. Just don't spam anything, punctuation included. Uh, for the hoodie, yeah, definitely. Uh, I've learned about the tight cotton four months into vaping and it cleaned up a lot of issues. Boom, there we go. Um, some people argue with me. A lot of people say on my older video, like I did a coil cleaning video a while back, and some people are like, your cotton's too tight. It's like, dude, <laughs> you wick the way you want to wick. I'll wick the way I want to wick. It was a coil cleaning tutorial. It wasn't a freaking, you know, uh, re-wicking tutorial, but that's besides the point. But honestly, like, I feel like the tighter the cotton and the hotter the build, it works out better. With the, the cooler builds, it doesn't really matter all that much. You have to have it, you know, the right tightness, but it doesn't matter all that much. Um, but yeah, that's just my opinion. I mean, you guys find a good way to wick, I guess. I mean, find the best way for you guys, but whatever. Just saying, I don't know. And not everyone, not two vapors are the same. Uh, let's see. You could do it right on IG as well for merch. I could sell them on Instagram, but eh, I don't have the time for it, honestly, because I'm the one running the Instagram. I wouldn't talk about popcorn and e-liquid in the same sentence. Oh my God, Jesus, Demo. You're trying to get me in trouble here. Um, let's see. Kensai. Yep. Kensai is good. Uh, so if it's popping, then the cotton could be too loose or not enough cotton inside the coil. Yes, that would be a correct statement there for you. Kevin K, how's it going? Uh, Nick, you could do it right on IG. Okay, I already read that one. Derp. Um, let's see. I'm a roofer. Where can I put my setup when I'm working in the summer? If you have a lunchbox with an ice pack in it, I would suggest there because it's going to be way too hot in your work truck. I actually used to be a landscaper, and that's what I did. Um, but be very cautious with it. Make sure it's not too hot. Like if anything, cold is better. Like it's not bad if it's too cold, your battery just might die quicker. So I don't know. I would avoid keeping it with you on the roof because it does get hot up there. And I would avoid keeping it in the work truck or trailer or anything like that unless it's like, you know, in the shade and it's going to stay under a certain temperature. Like um, be careful. Cause it's, it's definitely risky, but I, I usually kept mine in my, my lunch box and I had no issues. So, and it keeps all the dirt, dust, debris away from it as well. Uh, what? Oh, fanny pack all the way. There you go. <laughs> Says Annie Axelson. Uh, have you had a chance to use a 21700 mech? Uh, the dreamer actually is compatible with 20, 21700s. I haven't used it with a 21700 yet. Because I don't have any trustworthy 21700s. Uh, Nate Wilson is in Kentucky, right across the river from Ohio. I'm going to have to get out to Midwest Vape Expo in May then, because I, I would love to meet you guys if you're willing to make your way out to Cleveland. But uh, yeah, I might have to go down there. A uh, bunch of thinner wires, low mass, low resistance, intense flavor, and heat. Yeah, there we go. Demo basically answered the, the uh, question I I tackled earlier in probably a better fashion than I did. Um, J Rob <laughs> feels like they're brothers. Okay. Well, it's interesting. This conversation is getting out of hand. <laughs> um, what do I want for my birthday? I know I won't get a sexy mod with dark storms on it. Well, um, 
you know, I'm sure there's a mod company out there that's willing to do a, a laser engraving for you. Simple as that. Uh, or you could buy it yourself. I always buy my own uh, birthday presents. I just treat myself, you know. I got a 21700 Torin Mechanical from Thunderhead Creations. It's pretty awesome. You should check it out. I have not heard of Thunderhead Creations. Maybe, maybe I have. I, I can't remember. But I'll look into it anyways. I once got lost in Newport during Oktoberfest on Main Strauss. Place is crazy. It's all about Triple Core 26 stainless steel aliens. Well, there you go. If that's what you're into, go for it. I just want, uh, I need a vape. Man, you guys have been keeping me busy here. But as you can see, hopefully, uh, it's got that color changing thing going on. As it heats up, it goes from a dark purple to a kind of light blue. I'll do it until it turns. How about that? I'll, I'll just have a quick little vape session here. But so far, the TM24 is good. Um, I'd say it's a little bit more on the clouds and flavor side. It's not a whole heck of a lot of different from the original Tw Twisted Messes 2 or whatever. Uh, Twisted Messes Squared, I'm sorry. I know I get that wrong every time I say it. But there you go. You can see that light blue color coming out. This is absolutely gorgeous. I will buy every single color that Jess Marie has to offer because I love those things. <clears throat> I uh, just want, don't want it to get hot and leak. Yes. Uh, so definitely, I would say keep it in, in your lunchbox as long as you have like an ice pack in there. Uh, thinner wire wrap contributes to faster ramp up, less mass as far as whether or not it accentuates certain flavors. I don't know if that's true. You can always try it. Yeah. I mean, I've tried it. I've tried fuse glaptons with 40 gauge and stuff like that, and they work really, really well. So there's that. Um. What's up, Mike to Jesus? What's going on, dude? <laughs> Tuning in. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see. Uh, I do have your regular framed staples that with that 42 gauge, and they are running beautifully. I uh, don't have them on me, though. Those are in my phobia RDA. Uh, and we got Steve Payne watching, too. Boom. There you go. That's for you, buddy. Uh, Cleveland is on the other end of Ohio. Oh, Cincy area. I've been to Cincinnati. Cincinnati is a, a lovely city. Uh, I've gone actually all the way to Cincinnati and then cross the bridge into Kentucky and then cross back again. Um, Skyline Chili, big fan. That and uh, what's the ice cream place out there? Can't remember. Um, that was good too. Skyline Chili is legit. If you haven't had Skyline Chili, then do yourselves a favor. Uh, they they do ch uh, chili a little bit different out there. They put it on top of uh, like spaghetti, and uh, it's delicious. Uh, my dad makes it to this day. That's a story that you guys didn't need to hear, but there you go. Random fun fact about me. Uh, J. Robs asked for a shout out for his girl. Shout out Deanna Johnson. Big shout out to Deanna Johnson. You have been shouted out. Anyone else? I mean, if you want to shout out like for real on like my vlog, then definitely drop me an email, dailyvapetv at gmail.com. I will be sure to give her a proper shout out there. Um, but yeah, um, definitely down to get to Midwest Vape. There you go. Have I seen the ADV expansion by Inked Addy 13 mil of e juice? I have it on my Smoke X Priv. I have not. It's Sounds familiar, though. I've seen, like, so many of these things that you guys are talking about, but I just can't picture them off the top of my head. I have a box full of stuff that I have yet to review, and uh, it's getting it's getting to be too much. So I'm hoping to take the next two weeks and just plug away at my backlog of all the stuff that I haven't reviewed yet. I still got to do the, the Bravo. I got to do the RX2 21700. I've got a ton of products to look at. Um <clears throat> uh, and Stan is actually messaging me right now and he wants to start the call early. Sorry, Stan, I'm doing something right now. 
Ray French, what is up? What is going on? Uh, let's see. Taft Love Life says ex he's excited for the Purge Enforcer to drop. All right. Um, I haven't really gotten too many new mechs, but I, I do kind of like them every now and then. This one I do not have built for a mech. Uh, I wish I threw a little parallel in there. Because it's hard, to, uh, it's hard for me to tell if um, if my battery is dying or if it's just the ramp up time. Uh, anyway, excited for Home Tech twenty one seven hundreds to come out or got THR new their new twenty seven hundred they released. Um, I have not seen the new Home Tech stuff. I don't really follow Home Tech too much. I know Joel is my my guy. If I ever wanted. Uh, take a look at those things, but I'd, uh, I I would have to read up on them first. You know, I'd have to check out what Mooch has to say and stuff like that. Uh, go to build for a single battery mech. Um, hmm, that's a tough call. Usually, I'll just throw a parallel like twenty four stainless in between my normal fuse Claptons, but I'll take a wrap off of the fuse Clapton. So I'll do six wrap fuse Clapton three millimeter twenty six and thirty six gauge nichrome eighty paralleled with a strand of either nichrome or stainless steel 24 gauge or even 26 gauge honestly graders that sounds right but i forgot how to pronounce it so oops <laughs> yeah i'm uh right on the river there you go um skyline is an east coast thing is it so i think skyline is straight up like uh like an Ohio thing. I haven't seen it anywhere out here near me at all. Uh, Gold Stars Master Chili Spaghetti Race. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to try it next time I'm in, I'm in uh, Ohio for sure. Dixie Chili. Okay, wow. Now, now I have a, a list of chili places to try. Thanks, guys. You're going to make me fat. <laughs> Midwest was a great time last year. Hell, yeah. Um, hopefully, we can find another Courtyard Marriott, Jen. That place was legit. <laughs> they had like a little fireplace and everything. It was awesome. Uh, Nate says he could do some reviews for me. Be my guest, buddy. <laughs> um, let's see. Check out my newest video with the Smoke X Priv, please, when you get time. Man, I if I can, I absolutely will. I, I'll try to make some time for it. Maybe tomorrow uh, if, it, it's, if, if it's at all slow at the shop because I have been... 150% since I got home from ECC. It took me two days to edit the ECC vlog. Obviously, it's an hour and four, uh, hour and 13 minutes long, almost an hour and 14 minutes. So that took me forever to edit. Um, I will say this. I'm probably going to cu be cutting down a little bit on the long kind of form vlog uh, for, for travel vlogs. Like probably keep it around 30 to 45 minutes. But uh, I don't know. I just had the time to film. And I got to hang out with Demo, so I, I blame him. I blame uh, Demo fully because when he, him and I get into a conversation, we could just talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Hold off on a bit of those new monster cells coming soon. So saith the mooch. Well, there you go. Except they're going to be sold out everywhere. I just mentioned you on Instagram. Cheers, man. Thanks. Uh, uh, that's it. That's it. That's how you say the ice cream place. Graters. It just sounds wrong because it great graters graters. Eh, I don't know. It just sounds wrong. Uh, one that's not next to the crazy waffle murder house, please. Yes. Um, you know, yeah, the, the waffle house right next to our hotel was like a hot spot for murder. Apparently when we were in, uh, Columbus, I'm looking forward to, I'm going to try to make it out to Cleveland. I'm going to check some flight prices and stuff, but, um, you know, that's another reason I, I started the Patreon, you guys. Like, I do pay out of pocket for a lot of stuff. So, um, you know, if you want to become a patron, link's down there. If not, no big deal. Not, not even worried about it. And you could also PayPal me a couple of bucks if you don't want to sign up for a monthly th sort of thing. If you just want to, you know, donate a couple of bucks, that would be awesome. I am going to announce new stickers very soon. I'm going to be showing them off and those I will be bringing with me to 
uh, all of the events coming up soon. So with that, yeah, keep that in mind. The, you know, every little bit counts. You know, if it's a buck or two, it's it's awesome. I do appreciate every single penny that you guys give me, uh, especially now that YouTube is demonetizing my entire channel. So um, thank you guys. Thank you. Thanks to all my patrons and thanks to everyone that's ever, you know, donated a buck or two. Really do appreciate it. It does go a long way uh, because stickers are really expensive. Um, but yeah, let's see. Do I own a, uh, cap, I do a captain X three mod. If so, have you had problems with the battery door? I do not own one. Uh, hopefully they'll send me one after Chinese new year though, because I joy, uh, I'm working with I joy now, uh, not working with, but you know, that, that makes me sound like I'm on their payroll. No, they're just sending me mods. Um, looking to, uh, Yes, the skyline is next to the murder house. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> uh, let's see. <clears throat> Looking to get my first RTA, and I'm a mouth-to-lung guy. Is the Aries my best bet? It's a good bet. Is it your best bet? I don't know. I'm going to have to kind of defer to uh, Demo a little bit for that because he's got the Siren 2 from not geek vape digi flavor i think it's a digi flavor siren too or is it the geek vape siren too I, I literally can't remember but he just got one of those and i did try it and it is really really nice so it's going to be a battle between those two my guess graders sounds like a cheese place <laughs> thanks thanks for that comment jay uh most reliable mod durable um not sure if I can really talk about the one that's in my head right now. Um, it's made by Geek Vape. There, I'm just all I'm gonna say. It's being made by Geek Vape, and it's coming out soon. Wait for it; it'll be worth it. What do you think about Smoke Mag Kit? Well, it's very, very gaudy and unnecessary, just like all their other stuff. But uh, and they, the, my biggest problem with it is they put the the mag release button on the wrong side. How could you do that? That you had one job, smoke. You had one job to put the mag release on the side where your thumb rests, and they put it on the opposite side. Come on. But. Um, it's not a terrible kit. It's just overly gaudy and bulky and heavy for no reason whatsoever. But if you want to grab one, then I, it's okay. It's okay. I don't know. Uh, so Demo, sa Demo says he has the K-Fun Prime, Berserker, Siren 2, and the Ares. It's a tie between the Siren 2 and Berserker. Obviously, the K-Fun is amazing, but it's 120 bucks. Right. You could buy both the Siren 2 and the Berserker for under 100 bucks. So you could buy all three of the, the other ones, the Berserker, Siren 2, and the Ares for under 120 bucks. So I would do that. <laughs> Berserker 22 or even 24 are great mouth to lung too. Yes, I agree. Both Berserkers are really, really good. Uh, no on the mag kit, says Jay. With Tofo, but it's old and there's plenty of newer, better MTL stuff. Uh, but it's decent starting point and won't be out too much. Tofo. Uh, I know it's old school, but from out the lung, I like the serpent. No, oh, the serpent's a good choice too. Um, not my favorite from out the lung, though. Personally, just saying, um, it's okay. If you're gonna do anything mouth to lung uh, that might be a little bit different, I would say the as vape Merlin Merlin um rta it's switchable between mouth to lung and direct to lung with a bunch of little parts so i don't know oh j rob says he's left-handed well if you're left-handed then you're good but uh personally i'm right-handed i'm like come on i just like like I, I do like the feeling of that little mag release thing if it made more sense I, they should have made it um ambidextrous they should have made an ambidextrous uh switch there that would have been smart i mean they, they could have done it uh they have right and left-handed mods for the mag from smoke they did it on purpose really that's dumb <laughs> well we only sell apparently left-handed mods at our, our store i had, had no idea they had right and left-handed mods that is 
really dumb. They really should have just done uh, a ambidextrous button. That's dumb. <laughs> That's so dumb. <laughs> Oh, mag is a terrible idea for a multitude of reasons. I'm waiting till it hits the news in a bad way. I agree to a certain extent. I really don't think it's going to, you know, someone's going to pull out a, a mag kit and get shot by the cops or something, but it's possible, I guess. I don't know. Uh, you have to have a blast just to chill the cops out. Well, there you go. If you're going to recommend a pod system, what would you suggest? Oh, God, Jesus. There's so many. I have so many pod systems. Let me just gather them all back up here. Oh, oh and I'm dropping them. Well, this is just a small sample of the pod systems that I have. Okay? Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> I can't even hold them without dropping all of them right here in front of me. <clears throat> I might have to do like a live like pod review or something. I don't know. X1 if that's a good idea. So I have the Zur, the MyJet, the Sol, the Miley, the Bow, the Fix, the Valadin, Nico Stick, and the Jewel. And I also have a Sorin Air right here. I think that's it. I'm looking around. I have two more jewels sitting right by me, too. That's a dead one. <laughs> Go figure. Uh, let's see. It's smook, smook, smock, smoke, smock. The big debate. I call it smoke. A lot of you guys call it smock. Call it what you want. It, it really does not matter. Uh, let's see. Pod system. Um, right now the fix is really good. The Miley is really good. Flavor wise, the Zur and the Sol uh, are definitely two big contenders because the Zur actually has a cake flavor, a green apple flavor, a candy flavor, and a mint flavor. So that's a pretty darn good choice if you're looking for those kind of things. Uh, but traditional flavors like tobacco and menthol and stuff like that, the Jewel is really, really good. Um, bum, 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 bum. Revenger X, and it's just my opinion. Uh, let's see. I have the Vupu Resin 157 Gene Chip, and it's amazing. Uh, oh, yeah, the Pulse 80 is going to have the Gene Chip, which is pretty darn cool. I love that. Uh, I would go with the Vupu, honestly. Vupu is definitely one of the top selling mods right now at my shop. Uh, I consider the switcher, but the whole switcher part is, is dumb. Yes, it is dumb. Uh, it's completely unnecessary, and it's way too bulky and heavy and kind of ugly. I don't know. It's completely pointless. I think it's they need China needs to focus a little bit more on function and improving the quality of their devices rather than flash and fanfare. Uh, right one for good idea, two for bad idea. Wait, what? What did I miss? Oh, uh, oh, Grim Green's thing, yeah, <laughs> or Kent's thing. <laughs> Freaking Kent. Wow, you don't have many pod systems. Yeah, uh, I, I don't have nearly enough. Uh, I want the Thymus. What do you think? If I knew what the Thymus was, I could tell you. I do not. Um, yeah. Uh, so what do you do? do, do, do? But the Vupu will probably be next when I do. Yeah, the Vupu resin drag is uh, is definitely a good choice there. The Vupu 2 is gaudy and unnecessary, but hey, it's just the same old chip in a different looking box, basically. Um, I love it. The smoke X priv is for right handers. Why? When it is in my hand, uh, then I can see the screen when I'm going to fire it. Meh. I don't need to see the screen when I'm firing my mods, honestly. Meh. But, um, yeah, the Vupu is definitely, definitely, definitely worth the money. Durable as heck and lasts all day. Hey guys, does anyone remember the IPV3? If anyone remembers that, raise your hand and put put a little emoji in the room. Just one emoji, otherwise Nightbot will get you. Um, if you do remember that mod, put it side by side in your head 
against the Vupu Drag mod. You got it? Okay. Are they the same? Almost. <laughs> Except actually the, the uh, IPV had a, it was powered by a Yihi chip, um, an SX300, I think, back in the day. Um, but I think the IPV3 was far ahead of its time uh, when it first came out. And, uh, I mean, to this day, obviously, people are still kind of emulating them. I wish there would be more like that and emulate, like, something like the IPv3 and focus on durability and a little bit of style as well as function over the gaudiness and flashiness and just overall, blech, that smoke is putting out. And, ugh. I mean, I don't mind things like the Revenger X um, or the Revenger, you know, being a little bit kind of flashy, but not overly really. Um, but yeah, the, all these Chinese companies need to heavily focus on their quality and quality control a lot more than coming out with a design a month and just cranking out, out like crap left and right. That's, that's my opinion. That's my opinion. And you, you don't really get this sort of raw side of me, uh, when, when I'm doing my videos, but you know, it, that's why I like these live streams. Let's put it that way. Man, this guava pop is very good. If you like guava flavor, definitely give this one a shot. I am like in flavor heaven right now. I've got so many really good flavors going on. Um, this mystery pop is fantastic too. It's like a, a mix between Skittles and fruit stripe gum. It's like halfway between there. Damn, that's good. And it's not destroying my cotton either, which is a definite plus for me. Uh, I think they meant Themis RTA by Geek Vape. Haven't even tried it. Geek Vape doesn't send me products. Uh, Geek Vape slash Digi. I actually had to get my drop from Brian from Vapor Chronicles. He actually sent me one because I didn't even get one from Geek Vape. I was a little sad. But I hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll have a, a direct line with him pretty soon. Uh, have I tried? Have I had to go with the Sherman 25? No, but I really want one. I really do want one. Um, they want to make it a bar scene when you're vaping. Oh yeah. Like a club, like a tss, tss, tss thing. Uh, Brent boats. What's up? Happy Friday. Happy Friday to you as well. Happy freaking Friday. If anyone ever watched my old live streams with, uh, my co-host Jay, uh, back in the day, what was it? The, the awesome show. All right. JTH Review says it's an annual thing they do right before the Chinese New Year. They do a pump and dump. Um, that sounds so wrong on so many levels. <laughs> I tried Swish Licks E Juice. It was gross. I like apple melon and cotton candy. Hmm. Taste is subjective, but there are some flavors that just need to be gone. <laughs> they need to focus on centered 510s and making the positive and negative more visible on battery doors. Yeah, definitely. Um, and just safety and overall reliability. The candy kind pink squares is just candy king pink squares is just like the pink starburst. Um, I never really was into the pink starburst flavors. There's so many out there and they just all kind of taste the same and meh. It looks like the Zeus, but dual coil uh, digi flavor. Did digi digi flavor? Yeah, it is the year of the dog in Chinese zodiac. Apparently, thank you, Matthew Cruz. I did not know that. Um, I forget mine. I think I'm I'm I was born in year of the rabbit. I believe. Oh, someone asked me what part of uh, where I'm from. Oh yeah, where am I located? Uh, where's my shop? My shop is in Enfield, Connecticut. I am from the Springfield area of Massachusetts, so right across the border. Uh, it's only like a 15 minute drive, 15 minute, 20 minutes if you're not speeding. <laughs> There's also mesh version of the Themis RTA. Might consider that as well. Mesh. I don't know. Mesh can be really good or really bad. In my opinion, the best mesh RDA out right now is by far the Vapefly mesh. That thing is 
a cracking good little RDA. Um, really do like it. Honestly, it's it's already in the top contender spot for my best RDA of the year. Even though I got it in 2017, I haven't reviewed it until this year, so it's going to qualify to be in the, the 2018 list. Uh, still learning. Okay, what will that drip tip you have fit on my Prince tank? I'm the year of the snake. Oh, Dark Storms is the year of the snake. Um, the drip tank, uh, drip tip I have... I'm assuming you're talking about the uh, color changing one here from Jess Marie, Double Helix Designs. This will fit anything 810. I actually have the 810 adapter on my TM24 right now. Um, so uh, what is it? Prince Tank. The Prince Tank I don't think is 810. I think that's the TFV8 size, which is a little bit different. Could be wrong. Don't quote me on that, but I believe they are a hair different. Um, <clears throat> so JTH says he knows it sounds bad, but it's the truth. They try and crank out enough to cover them while downtime is hitting the pocket. Yeah, I, yeah, that makes total sense, but um, I don't know. I mean, China, 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 China. What are you going to do? It's China. Um, lately, though, I just haven't been impressed with much coming out from, out of China. Uh, just really not been happy with with much. Um, yeah, I don't know. What more can I say? So I will say, set up this thing today, the Grim Green Me Pod, and... It is good. It's a really good mouth-to-lung travel setup. Like, on-the-go, take-anywhere sort of thing. This is great. Direct, uh, or not mouth-to-lung, direct-to-lung. Derp. Uh, as far as mouth-to-lung is concerned, yeah, you can choke off the airflow by putting your finger right here. It's still way too loose for, for me, though, personally. Um, I think this is more meant for direct-to-lung rather than mouth-to-lung. Have I seen the new Kennedy Squonker? Yes. Oh, Smoke TFE-12 is 810. Oh, okay. Didn't know. I, I don't own a single Smoke product, except for, like, their really old stuff. Um, so, I mean, I sell it at my shop, but we sell TFE-812 drip tips like specific ones for those so i i don't know um uh dan says he's got a treat for me for next week's vlog dan waterman fyi for all of you that are watching this right now is my beer guy he is my beer supplier he always hooks me up with really good beers from my area so big shout out to you dan first and foremost and second thanks for getting me drunk <laughs> um Let's see. Thanks, and by the way, your drip tip, drip tip looks badass. Hell yeah, dude. I love the matchy-matchy, and I love that uh, this kind of light blue color still goes with the purple color. But when it's cold and it's in my bag, it's all that purple, and uh, I love the the perp setup. At, at uh, Demo here, perp, 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 perp setups. Yeah, Demo and I are purple brothers. <laughs> we have both, like, super matchy-matchy purple setups. <clears throat> yeah, got to show the beer guy some love. Absolutely, man. Um, did you take a look at the Vapeston mesh coil atomizer? I have not. I have not even heard of it, to be honest with you. I'll, I guess I'll look into it. So everyone that's like mentioning everything to me as far as like what I have to look at, make sure you drop a comment on this video after it goes live or, you know, an email, drop me an email, dailyvapetv at gmail.com um, because this chat gets deleted after this, this video goes live. So make sure you just drop a comment on there. It would be much appreciated because otherwise I probably won't remember. I have a terrible, terrible memory. <laughs> Uh, I agree with you. My disappointment was, uh, is with Sigeli. They had it down with the old Snow Wolf and Pup, but this new stuff, man, has me scratching my head. I agree 110% with that statement. This new stuff is 
just getting out of control, man. They are going with gimmick after gimmick after gimmick, and nothing is really working. The one thing that's kind of saving them right now is the Sigeli Fuchai Squonker is a really good kit. Um, I'm going to have to put a single coil build on it because uh, the dual coil build is going to drain my battery so quickly. But other than that, uh, it is a very good form function kind of form factor, I guess. Um, I really like it. It's it's not terrible. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah. Yeah. Get yourself some uh, Double Helix Designs drip tips, guys. They're, they're really good stuff. And she, uh, Jess Marie will take care of you. If something happens, you know, if anything happens to your tips, she'll, she'll uh, definitely take care of you. She's awesome. Uh, she hooked me up with a couple of tips, but I also bought a couple off of her because I support the people in this in industry that I love and respect. So I absolutely had to buy a couple. I also bought a Twisted Message 24 as well. Um, I didn't. I don't just go after all the free stuff, you know, left and right. Anything that uh, you know, I know the people personally. Like I'll, I will pay for. Um, but yeah, like um, some some stuff out there, I, I'm more than willing to pay for. Um, but I'm going broke in the process. <laughs> a lot of you guys tell me to try all these, these products, but you know, I, it's tough. It's tough with my schedule and just the simple fact that it, this stuff costs a lot of money. Um, the only reason I vape the way I do vape honestly is, is because I'm a reviewer. Uh, I could not keep up this habit otherwise. Like I could, I could probably sub ohm, but I would have maybe one or two mods, and that's it. <clears throat> uh, uh, let's see. Wait, we were talking about uh, mesh tanks here. It's a Freemax Fire Luke mesh copy. Vapeston copies Freemax a lot. Oh, dates back to the Freemax Star and the Vapeston Magnus. Oh, okay. I have, I think I might have, maybe I have heard of that brand. Um, but I do like the fire Luke mesh a lot. That is a really good little tank. Um, let's see. I want to try the 2700 build you did on my RX machina. Uh, what should I do to make the ohms higher? What wires or gauges, uh, could I change? Um, you can just go a little bit smaller with the core wires. You can go uh, a little smaller with the any parallels or anything like that. Uh, if you want to raise up the, the resistance a little bit, you can also try Canthal instead of Nichrome or Stainless Steel, and uh, that'll raise your resistance quite a bit. Uh, for mechs, I usually stick between 0.1 and 0.2, obviously depending on what battery I'm using, etc., uh, but on a 2700, I feel pretty confident that a 0.1 build is going to be just fine. Uh, but, you know, just check your ohms all along the whole process and make sure it's, you know, not jumping around on you. Six of the basics for real. All the flashy stuff isn't meant for a handheld machine. I'm assuming you're talking about the build. Uh... Yeah. Oh, Brent Boats, thank you for dropping that in chat. Uh, it's Double Helix Designs. Uh, Double Helix, uh, dhdaccessories.com. That's what it is. Uh, I think that's our current website. Um, let's check it out. <laughs> I'm just going to pop that in. Yeah, it's dhdaccessories.com. I'll post a link in chat for you guys right now. Uh, sign in to chat. What the hell? Oh, geez, I just had to sign into my own YouTube channel. Apparently, I'm not signed into my own YouTube channel. Well, there you go. DHDaccessories.com. Um, let's see. It's 8.30. We got half an hour left, so we're going to spend another 15 minutes an answering questions. Then we'll get to the little uh, giveaway part, and then we'll call it quits. How about that? And I'll just get the randomizer ready here, just so we are prepared. I've got my list all set, guys. Thank you for being patient with me before, by the way. 
Uh, list randomizer. There it is. Okay. All right. My list is all set up. <clears throat> uh, ba -do -ba -do -ba -do. makes things around ten dollars more expensive, which they which very little change in betweens. In between, uh, but quality wise, they're about the same. Eh. <clears throat> the NA and uh, Nichrome 80 stage with SS works well. Uh, that on the X Machina. Yeah, it works good. It works really good. Well, I, I wish everyone good luck. I, I don't want to play favorites here, but uh, yeah. I want everyone to win my giveaways. I feel terrible just giving one, one thing away at a time, but uh, I will be doing a lot more giveaways soon. Um, as you guys know, if you read the rules in my description of my video, you have to be a U.S. resident. You have to be 21 or older. You have to be willing to pay my little FDA fee, which is the cost of a flat rate shipping box. And uh, you have to have proof of ID. That's it. That's all you have to worry about as far as that is concerned. So if you're outside of the United States, I do apologize, but I really just literally can't afford to send stuff overseas at this point in time. The reason it is 21 plus and not 18 plus or 19 plus is because everywhere is different. And it seems to me that no one has uh, gone over the age of 21 as far as uh, smoking age is concerned. So 21 plus is basically just a blanket. It's for everywhere. Um, so yeah, I mean, it is what it is. And that's just that's just the rules. I mean, if you if you're not happy with the rules, then I'm I do apologize, but I just have to uh, have to go with strict standards here because you know we're dealing with tobacco products. I mean, as the FDA looks at it, they, these are tobacco products, hence why my channel has been completely demonetized. Gur gur gur. Can you tell I'm grumpy about that? And Ryan. Ryan, shout out to Australia, man. Watching all the way from all the way over there. That's awesome. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, uh, let's see. One of the reviewers vaping thing is seen there. I'm leaving Freemax and starting Vapeston. Oh, okay, that makes a lot of sense then. Yeah, a lot of times designers will move from one company company to the next and, and or start their own company. So with that kind of situation, it gets a little bit a uh, little tricky because you can have basically copies of the same design. I mean, we've seen it time and time again. Where two atomizers look almost identical. I mean, just look at, uh, you know, anything that Coil Master, th those Coil Master tanks remind me a lot of previous designs from Watofo and from, you know, various other companies. So I actually have a question for you guys, if you're willing to answer it. What do you want to see companies come out with right now? Would you rather them come out with, you know, a new mod, whether it be regulated or mechanical? Would you rather see them come out with an RDA, RDTA, uh, RTA, you know, whatever? Um, I want to know what you guys want to see. Um, because I'm, I'm currently at the stage now that uh, I will be designing some stuff. I'm just going to put that out there. Haven't really mentioned that too much, but um, kind of in in that that sort of zone, uh, which I will be coming out with some designs. I'm not sure if they're going to get made or not, but I'm going to start throwing together some ideas, and uh, I'm curious as to what you guys want to see. Um, <clears throat> but there's a lot of really cool stuff coming out in the near future. I, I really can't wait till after Chinese New Year. This next vlog is going to be kind of uh, sad for the uh, unboxing portion, my little vape mail segment, because I really only have two things to take a look at, but it is what it is. Um, I sh should I mention? I guess I can mention it. I can mention it. Um, 
in the very near future, I will be doing a run of Hexome V3s with my logo on it. So for all of you out there, I will give you a little bit of time. Uh, I'll be mentioning this in my vlog as well, but uh, I will be coming out with some Hexome V3s with my logo on it. They're not going to be anything super duper fancy or revolutionary, just as your standard Hexome V3. I'm going to try to get them to do a special edition sort of color pattern or something on there. I'm not sure whether I want to do anodized or um, powder coated yet, but that is something we can kind of go over in chat here as well as uh, in the comments section, etc. So let me know what you guys want to see, and I'll try to make it happen for you guys. But as far as I know, they're going to be standard Hexome V3 price. Not a dollar more, not a dollar less. I have to do what they tell me to do. So, um, But yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to that as well because... It's just a step in the right direction for me. I love my Hexome V3, and I couldn't ask for a better company to work with on that. Um, so yeah, I know I know for sure that uh, uh, Clown, aka J, will be getting one because he's got a nice little collection going. Um, nice look at each drip tip. Blue is nice. Yeah, it's fully blue now. As you can see, it's nice and warm. So you can absolutely tell <laughs> whether or not I've been vaping on it. So, yeah, and also just let me know if um, if you would want uh, a Hexome B3 with my logo on it. I mean, I know it's kind of a, a niche sort of thing. Not everyone can afford it, uh, but I do want those people that – want a very high quality quality device with a warranty to have access to it. And uh, basically I'll be doing it in the form of a Google Doc where you guys will sign up uh, and you'll pay once everyone's paid and, and uh, the uh, sort of session or whatever, like the time is expired. I'll probably leave it up for about a month or so. So it's gonna be about a month plus like three weeks lead time um, so like almost two months total, maybe I'll do it for three weeks and have three weeks lead time, something like that, just so everyone can get through like a pay period or two. Um, if you are like in the market for that sort of thing. And then, uh, once they get produced, they'll be shipping them out and yeah, that's, that's about it. That's all you got to know. I mean, it's pretty simple. Um, I'm hoping to get a couple of different color choices as well. Again, I'll keep you guys posted on that. Uh, let's see. More hybrids, personally. RD, RDAs, RTAs, that can be either or change of a top cap. I, I could see that happening. I mean, there there's uh, there are a few choices out there. A lot from Limitless and um, Geek Vape and Coil Art uh, have those kind of things going on. But, you know, it, it's hard to find a good one. Let's put it that way. <clears throat> Thank you, Annie. I do appreciate all the support. Um, mod as oh, and FYI for the record and for prosperity's sake, I will not be making a dime off of these mods. I'm not looking to make a profit off of them whatsoever. I'm trying to just bring a product out to you guys that is quality. I want you guys to have a good experience vaping. I want you guys to have a quality product that I back a hundred percent and. Um, Basically, just uh, you know, have your hands on something that's a little bit special, and for me to to see you guys with them, that would be amazing. Uh, I would love to be like tagged in a million photos on Instagram so I can repost them and everything, um, as well as any future endeavors. Let's put it that way. I can't really talk about it too much. <clears throat> Gotta love that lifetime warranty. Yes, lifetime warranty for the Hexome V3. That's really the way I look at it. Usually they're like 190 bucks, um, somewhere in that area. So a hundred bucks is for the mod and 90 bucks is for the warranty. But if you have to use it just once, it pays for itself. <clears throat> uh, Facebook page. I have both a Facebook page and a Facebook group. I will be announcing it on both. And, uh, my Facebook page is facebook.com slash, uh, daily vape TV, all one word. <clears throat> and my Facebook group is facebook.com slash groups slash DVTV cloud crew. Um, 
So links are right down there in the description if you guys click through that. Um, just make sure you, you all of you guys uh, check out the Cloud Crew group because I will be doing exclusive giveaways on there as well as it's just a good, fun place to hang out and chat about what you're vaping on and ask me questions. And I will occasionally poll, you know, throw some polls out in the group just to see what's going on and uh, keep everyone engaged. So it's a good place. You know, if you want to contact me directly on a daily basis, that's probably the best way to do so. <clears throat> uh, definitely a good uh, a, a USA made product. Yeah, for sure. Uh, let's see. More innovation, not just the same thing in a different shape. Absolutely. More American products, uh, but it's difficult nowadays. Absolutely. But Hexom, man, Hexom, Craving Vapor is killing it. Uh, let's see. I would like to see more dual battery squonkers flooded with singles, but a well-built two to three cell squonk box is what I'd like to see. I would love to come out with a triple battery squonk box because I would use that thing all the time. Um, it, it would be tough to cram everything in there though, but I don't know. I feel like the, the company to work for or work with, with that is, is probably like Wismec. Um, as long as it's not the freaking car battery shape, the square RX 300 mod that they put out. <sighs> Fail. Um, just bought the drop. What is the best build for it? <sighs> God, that's like asking what's the best car. Um, it depends on what, what you're looking for. Flavor, clouds, combination, you know, what style you vape, all that stuff. Um, uh, I mean, I go with standard dual coil, probably throw some uh, frame staples or aliens or fuse glaptons in there, and I'm a happy camper. Uh, Chris, you sent it to my Facebook page. I don't get those notifications. The Facebook Messenger on p the pages is terrible. It is terrible. If you click on something, it goes into a different folder, and it's just a jumble cluster. Uh, it's terrible. Um, that that coil jig 3D printed thing that I, I was showing off like a year ago is no longer made anymore. The site is shut down. I tried contacting him. I think I actually paid for another jig, uh, and it never got delivered or anything, so I gave up on it. That that site i will no longer rep for anymore because uh he's gone he's gone he just took off so i have no idea if it just was like uh he couldn't keep up with production sort of thing or people kept having production issues or something i don't know but uh, unfortunately that site is no longer uh let's see flavor well good flavor builds like i mentioned aliens Frame staples and fuse claptons. Those are my top three flavor builds. <clears throat> um, so, a couple more minutes, we'll announce the winner. Honestly, if you're going to get a any sort of coiling jig nowadays, I think the Daedalus is probably your best bet. Um, it's a little bit more automated than the little vaped 3d Clapton jig. So I would go with that. Um, or you can just, you could probably just make one. Honestly, all you need is a clamp that you just like drill a hole through the middle of it. And then you drill a, a tiny little hole in the top and, um, you need, you could do it with like Lego or something. You could just make a little stand for your spool of wire. <clears throat> Uh, my goal to, to kind of respond to JTH reviews, it says it would be relatively easy to do as far as the triple 18, squonker slimmest, most slender ergonomic three cell and put the squonk bottle in the third cell slot. Yes, but I'm looking to do a triple 18, uh, squonk mod. So three batteries and a squonk bottle. And I think the Relo has the right shape for it. So what I would do is probably take the old Relo RX 200S or whatever, move the chip up to the top and make it maybe a, a couple millimeters taller like the RX 2 slash 3 
Um, and then have your three battery slots and then have your squonk bottle right in the front so you could do it with your uh, ring finger or something. I think that would work. No one steal my idea. Uh, Rebel Red England, shout out to you, man. Boom. I can't steal this because that's Grimm's thing. I can't, I can't do that. So you have been shouted out. There you go. That's my thing. Uh, <laughs> shout out to you, Rebel Red England. Yeah, I, I agree. JTH Review says it's uh, it sounds easy in theory and on paper. However, mechanics are uh, in practicality is a different story. I absolutely agree. It's something that you would have to talk about with the actual company or whatever. Hexome quality is top notch, says Ryan. You are absolutely right. Uh, Nate says, oh boy, Josh had my blue mountain drip tips. Uh, got, wait, oh boy, Josh got had my blue mountain drip tips and the guy left and came back under a new name and he found out the guy never delivered his products and started to sell under a different name ooh vape drama ooh uh that's sketchy i hate that uh flavor build do you recommend from mtl mouth to lung tobacco vape normal micro coils ain't cutting it you should try out my fuse clapton mouth to lung fuse clapton it's a really gorgeous build and the same thing if demo is still watching i would recommend he try it out as well because i think he could appreciate it and absolutely he could build that in a heartbeat uh, but it's two strands of 30 gauge wrapped in 40 gauge and the smaller the outer wire the better so if you can do it with 42 or or even smaller than better that's that's better but it would be tough <clears throat> Uh, the Renegade RGX mods. I do not know anything about the Renegade RGX mods, unfortunately. Uh, there's just so much stuff out there, and I see mostly what China, you know, just drops on my doorstep. So, fortunately, I'm not like super, super on the pulse of uh, of everything in the vaping industry. Uh, let's see. Buy, not my. Oh, duh. <laughs> Had. Uh, I got it. Okay, I got it. I'm super confused by that. Uh, what's up, Dr. Chubby Smith? Uh, how's it going? Uh, what was the Drip Tech TS A3 battery? Is the new company making them? I haven't heard anything about that version. I know they're, they announced the DS version. That's going to be making a comeback soon under the actual guy that designed its company. So be on the lookout for those. They're dropping soon, I think, if they haven't already. <clears throat> Demo's going to do 32 cores with 46, because why not? Well, you probably only need about five or six wraps with that setup, Demo. And that'll still be over a one ohm. Oh, dude. Uh, Dr. Chubby Smith. Uh, what, what's your first name? I'm trying to think. <laughs> yeah, man, we worked together at the VSR booth in St. Louis. Is that Michael? Maybe? <laughs> Could it be? Top quality American made that won't break the bank. A good squonk mod and dripper. Uh, single and double coil. Man, you're asking for the world now, aren't you? Hmm. Um, dude, I don't think there's anything out there that's American made, cheap, squonk, and with a dripper with a single and dual coil. I don't think there's anything out there like that yet. Uh, I mean, the pulse is Chinese, the nudge is Chinese, I mean, stentorian is Chinese. American made. Oh, um, uh, boy! OC's new one is Chinese made. <clears throat> um, and every other uh, American company is breaking the bank for sure. I mean, you're talking two, three hundred for an American made squonker. I know Matt Bennett is coming out with some uh, BT Customs. Look into BT Customs. He's coming out with some squonks. I don't know the price point or anything, but I've been following him on his Facebook group or is it page? I don't know. Group or page that um, he's got some good stuff that he's going to be coming out with in the near future. 
Oh, that's what you want me to make. Okay. American made. Uh, that's the tricky part is American made because anything American made is expensive. Bottom line. That's it. That's all there is to it. <clears throat> Maybe I could work with Matt Bennett on some designs, but as far as breaking the bank, it's going to be expensive. I'm, I, there's no way around that. Half Moon? Half Moon is still over a hundred something. I don't know about that. I don't know. Uh, RSQ sounds real familiar. I'm sure I would be able to pick it out in a lineup if uh, if I saw it in front of me. Top quality overseas is probably what I, I'm you know, going to end up doing as far as any designs that I'm doing. Um, I don't want to cheap out. I don't want to go with you know the run-of-the-mill stuff. I will make sure... That it is of good quality. No, no Chinese copper. No, no cheap stuff. You know, I want to. I want to. Want something good for you guys. Uh, let's see. It's about time. Uh, we'll give it like five more minutes. Five more minutes, and we're gonna do the uh, the giveaway here. And I will say, if it just so happens that I pick a winner that's not eligible. I will be redrawing it, but I won't be doing a live stream for it. I'm just going to pick the, you know, the next name down. Um, so that's that's just how it goes, man. What's up, Brock? How's it going? Uh, highest watt blast you ever did? Mine was 225 watts on my mag. Um, well, on a mechanical mod, I've done uh, over over like 300 watts, I want to say, or hovering right around there. Uh, I've done it. I did the math. I did the math for the coils, and I've done like almost 300 or over 300. Um, so, yeah, that was pretty crazy. <laughs> Unintentionally. I didn't know the resistance until after my buddy told me because it was his build. Yep, yep, yep. Miguel is going into Mexico. Well, uh, see you later, Miguel. If you can join us for Vape Stew, that would be awesome. Um, hopefully, we'll see you over on Tenacious Texas Vapes channel. Uh, but, yeah, thanks for, thanks for hanging out, man. Uh, what's up, Bubba Hale? How's it going? We're just talking shop a little bit here, answering some questions, talking about some new projects, etc. Kind of wrapping it up, to be honest with you, but, you know. Uh, let's see. <laughs> you got me beat. Well, I mean, mechanical mods, you can easily go over 200 watts without even realizing it if you got a real, you know, super sub-ohm build. <clears throat> Do the math. Ohm's law. Um, and, and, Oh, I'm the one who made my boss buy Blaz. It's it's been selling great. Awesome, dude. That is awesome. Um, I'm really glad. And um, you can always reorder through Vapor Stockroom. I always push you know push you guys to them if you already order from them. If not, then you can easily just as easily order through us. And um, you know if you ever need swag or anything like that, feel free to hit us up. Blazliquids at gmail.com. Uh, that's for the wholesale side of things and not retail, unfortunately. But uh, hopefully, like I said, I'll uh, get those up on the website pretty soon. All right, Demo's getting ready for vapes too. Demo, I'll see you over there in about 15 minutes. Uh, yeah, and we hope to see you all over there hanging out with us on uh, Tenacious Texas Vapes channel. Is there another show after? Yes, uh, the Vapes Do show will be on at 10 p.m., my time, 9 p.m. Central Standard Time, uh, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, and that's where we're going to be talking about all things ECC this week. Um, I'm actually wearing my Blaz shirt now. All right, man. So am I. Check it out. Ta-da. There you go. Uh, Demo, you can post links. to If you could post a link, that would be amazing of you because um, you are a moderator on my channel. It's almost beer o'clock for this guy. I'm telling you that right now. <laughs> hey, 
Any final questions? We're getting right towards the end of the, the show here. So if you have any burning questions you want to ask, I know it's been a while since I did one of these uh, these live streams, but I will be trying to do the, do one at least once a month. Um, so yeah, any final little questions I'm totally willing to answer. How long in hours, minutes, I'm in the UK? Um, one hour and 10 minutes from now. That's going to be super late over there in the UK because right now it is coming up on, what, 2 o'clock in the morning? So unless you are on the night shift or something, then it's super late over there in the UK. Um, but shout out to you for hanging out now, uh, Maffy. <laughs> Thanks for the show. i uh, going to sign off. Ashtrays remembered. We'll see you. Uh, if you can pop in vapes too, it would be awesome. Can you buy Blaz for retail, not wholesale? Yes, you can. Blazliquids.com. Blazliquids.com. I'll put it in chat. Boop, 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 boop. I know I don't pimp my own stuff enough, but uh, I do 100% back Blaz because it's good quality juice. And, uh, you know, we just came out with chubby bottles, they look gorgeous. And uh, it's just good juice, man. UK viewers, it's going to be at 9 p.m. UTC minus 6. What? No, plus 6. And what's UTC? <laughs> it's GMT, Greenwich Mean Time. Just want to say a great live stream. Thanks for everything you do. Greatly appreciate it. Much love from Australia. Ryan, thank you for hanging out with me, man. I really do appreciate all you guys, especially all you uh, international viewers out there. It really makes my day when I see all you guys pop in, you know, where you're from and everything. It's just awesome. <laughs> and Matthew says insomnia. Yeah. Uh, can you find it in Europe? Not yet. We will be working on TPD compliance very, very soon. So hopefully within the next couple of months, we will be... Um, out there in Europe. So I'm, I'm, I would love for you guys to, uh, you know, if, if I do ever announce that we're going to be TPD compliant, make sure you tell your vape shops as soon as I announce it, because I would really love to get my product over there. And, um, uh, I think you guys would absolutely love it. It's a blue slushy kind of flavor. It's a blue, blue raspberry with, you know, other fruit flavors mixed in. You got blue raspberry and mango. It's not super sweet. It's not going to kill your coils like all that Malaysian juice. <coughs> But uh, <laughs> and it doesn't have any menthol, uh, although we do ha might have plans for something like that. What time is it with you right now? It is currently almost 9 p.m. Am I a drug addict? Yes, I am. I am addicted to this drug. There you go. Drug addict. Am I a drug addict? Um, but yeah, let's see. Um, the plan is ideally the plan is possibly doing a short fill range and a TPD range, but I really want, want to get TPD compliant just so you can put a little bit more faith in the company as a whole. Uh, I feel like the TPD bottles would be good for distribution and also, you know, vape shops and stuff like that. Uh, but I do plan on, on, uh, coming out with a, a short fill line as well. I know you guys hate the, uh, the 10 mil bottles uh, at the very least we'll do like, you know, five packs or something, five or six packs. Um, I have that brand big blue slushy is blaz like that. I don't know. Unfortunately, I have no freaking clue. There's so many blue slushy flavors out there. This one is a little bit unique in the sense that we don't use any sweetener. Push blaz here in Hawaii. Hawaii's got really weird vaping laws, though, so I don't know. We'll we'll try. I mean, go tell it tell it to your uh, your local shop there, Dark Storms, and hopefully they'll place an order with us. I'd love to get out there. Ten mil drives would be crazy. Yeah, yeah. Stupid Europe. I I know. I know. I know. Trust me. When I was over there, I saw those tiny little bottles, like uh, these little tiny baby ten mil bottles of like, come on, I can go through that in an afternoon. The name brand name is big. I don't know, man. I don't know. Yeah, it's definitely not a coil killer. All right, guys, we're going to do the giveaway right now. Blah, 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 blah. English. We are going to do the giveaway right now. 
so I'm going to switch my screen. I'm going to present to you guys. <clears throat> Lag City. There we go. All right. I am now sharing my screen. I can show you guys the randomizer here. And here we go. I have all the names, as you can see here. I'm Now, how this is going to work is I'm going to randomize it three times. The person right at the top of the list will be picked as the winner. Okay? So here we go. Once. All right. Twice. Three times. As you can see at the bottom here, it says I've randomized the list three times. There's a timestamp for everyone. And Seth Muzan is our winner. Congratulations, Seth. Um, if you are watching, if not, then I will be sure to send your, your congratulatory email out soon. Um, so there you go. Let's just go back and stop screen sharing so it doesn't look like I'm crazy. Oh, oh I'm blue. Oh, my God, I'm blue. I'm blue. There we go. <laughs> My webcam is really finicky. <laughs> it looks funny on the camera, too. All right. <clears throat> Seth, hey, congratulations. All you have to do to uh, receive your prize is send me an email with a proof of date of birth. You can send me a copy of your license or anything that has your date of birth and a picture on it of yourself. You can scratch off any, uh, you know, not scratch off, but you can block out any pertinent information that I don't need. All I need is your name and your date of birth, and that's it. You can scribble out anything else that you don't want me to see. Uh, send the FDA fee, which is, I believe, 710 now, to uh, dailyvapetv at gmail.com through PayPal. My PayPal link is, where is my PayPal link? Is it in my description? Yeah, my PayPal link is in the description of this video. It's paypal.me slash dailyvapetv. Send me $7.10, and I'll ship it out in a flat rate shipping box as soon as possible. Um, I think it can fit in a flat rate. Ooh, might be a tight fit. I might have to send it out uh, in a, a by weight box. So it might be like $8 or something like that. But uh, in either case, I'll just charge you for... Uh, the 710. I already said 710. So whatever. Just send that to me and uh, we'll get it out to you as soon as possible. Make sure to include in your email your current shipping address. Uh, so yeah, congratulations once again, Seth. And thanks for watching. I never really get to see the winners pop in these little streams here. So uh, it, a lot of times they just kind of uh, drag their feet on me and they don't collect their winnings for like a week. So I can get this out to you probably mo Monday or Tuesday. Um, I do have another winner uh, to give away or another winner to give away another prize to give away. Wow. Brain fart. Need to start drinking. Need to take my brain medication. <laughs> I'm not an alcoholic. I swear I'm a professional. If you drink beer and record it and describe it, you're not an alcoholic. Thank you guys all for entering the giveaway as well. You know, you guys are, you mean the world to me. Every single one of you in chat right now, everyone watching right now, you guys are awesome. Love you guys to death. Um, and uh, I look forward to doing my next giveaway, which will be happening very soon. Again, I will pimp all my stuff before I, I, I leave. <clears throat> uh, yeah, pro hashtag professional alcoholic. Hashtag I drink beer out of a fancy glass. Uh, <laughs> alcoholics go to meetings. I'm a drunk. There you go. Uh, pimping my shit before we go here. One, like my page on Facebook. If you'd be so kind, we just hit 1400 on there, which is awesome. Uh, I believe I'm just over 16,000 on Tumblr. So, wow. Thank you to all the Tumblers out there that follow me since day one, because Tumblr existed before, uh, or my, my Tumblr existed before my YouTube channel existed. So, wow. 16,000. That's awesome. Uh, Twitter, you can always follow me on Twitter. I don't really tweet all that much, but you do get little updates here and there of like when I start live streams and when I add videos and stuff like that. Uh, Instagram, I'm going to be doing some exclusive giveaways on Instagram. 
Uh, as for my Facebook group, the Daily Vape TV Cloud Crew, it's linked down there in the description. Make sure you go join up if you are on Facebook. Uh, it is a private group, so you have to search for it. It's just Daily Vape TV slash, or no, Facebook.com slash groups slash DVTV. Link is right down there. Click that link, sign up for the group. I'll add you as soon as this stream is over. And uh, we'll get some giveaways going at 500 members of that group. Have a good time in there. There's really not a whole lot of rules. Just make sure you read through the pin post before anything. And uh, I really don't want to ban anybody, so don't screw up. <laughs> also, uh, what else? Um, I'm just looking through my links. Patreon link is down there if you do want to sign up for uh, my Patreon. I do have some exclusive stuff on there as well. You guys will have exclusive merch. You'll have coupon codes as soon as I get that rolling, which is going to be happen happening pretty soon for a few different things. <clears throat> we have uh, T-shirt links and stuff like that down there. I will be doing my spring line of new shirts coming out in March. Uh, I think that's all the stuff I have to pimp uh, other than vape stew. Make sure you guys stay tuned for vape stew happening one hour from now. So one hour from now, we're going to be on Tenacious Texas Vapes channel. I'll put a link in chat right now. Excuse me while I do this. Uh, trying to go as quickly as possible because I know I'm over time right now. And I know Stan <clears throat> is chomping at the bit to that get uh, his call all set up. So, boop. All right. Good times, everyone. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Uh, Scott Seeley, what's my favorite RDA? Currently, my favorite RDA is close call between the drop and the recoil rebel, but it changes all the time. So catch me on my next live stream and I'll give you an updated answer. All right, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. We'll see you guys next time. And as always, vape on.